Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Jamal Hill, who briefly held the UFC light heavyweight title earlier this year, has been arrested on a domestic violence charge in Michigan. Hill was booked at a jail in Kent County on November 27 and released later that same day. However, prosecutors also charged the 32-year-old with a single count of misdemeanor aggravated domestic violence. Hill was accused of assaulting his brother James. However, details about the altercation are scarce. Hill rose to the top of his UFC weight division in January, beating Glover Teixeira at UFC 283 for the vacant light heavyweight title. However, Hill's tenure with the belt only lasted until July. After suffering an Achilles tendon rupture, Hill vacated the title. Alex Pereira took the vacant belt at UFC 295 last month. Prior to his arrest, Hill was expected to challenge Pereira for the belt once he recovered from his injury. However, Hill isn't the only athlete who has been arrested on a domestic violence charge. NFL star Von Miller was booked on a similar charge in Texas earlier this week. Miller surrendered to police on Thursday afternoon after a warrant for his arrest was issued on Wednesday. Per TMZ, Miller was booked around 4 p.m. Central on Thursday and released on bond soon after. According to ESPN, Miller's bond was set at $5,000. He had been wanted by police in Texas since late morning Wednesday after they responded to a major disturbance call concerning Miller and his pregnant partner. According to an affidavit, an argument about Miller's partner's travel plans had allegedly turned violent. Miller allegedly shoved her, pulled her hair, and placed his hands around her neck on two separate occasions. Miller is currently on a bye week and returned to his home state of Texas during the time off from the Bills. Both the Bills and the NFL have since released statements, acknowledging the arrest and stating that they were investigating the allegations. Miller was previously investigated on similar accusations in Colorado in 2021. However, that inquiry did not lead to any sort of formal police intervention. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.